Healthy People 2030 essentially is a roadmap. Um, it's a 10 year plan that um, uh, is now going on its fifth iteration. Um, this is our fifth decade. The Office of Disease Prevention and Health Promotion here at the Department of Health and Human Services, um, which leads the Healthy People Initiative. Uh, we are looking to uh, discuss what Healthy People is all about to begin with, um, but also to um, discuss how it's evolved over the past, uh, five, now five, going on five decades from what its original uh, intent was. Um, we hope that the audiences um, are able to learn about the way in which Healthy People 2030 has developed, um, particularly how uh, data requirements and the methods that we've applied um, have become more rigorous and stringent, um, such that the targets against the objectives of Healthy People 2030 um, have added value. For this decade, uh, Healthy People 2030 features um, most notably a smaller set of objectives um, and a more refined set of objectives, uh, frankly, based on those more rigorous data that I mentioned a minute ago. Um, we also have new objectives that are based on some contemporary issues, such as e-cigarette use, uh, flavored tobacco use in adolescence, of course, um, and unfortunately, opioid use disorder. Leveraging healthy people, the objectives, the resources, isn't just for the medical or health professionals, that it's really about all of us, um, that this isn't an HHS initiative, that this isn't just a, even a whole of government initiative, um, but that it's really a whole of society initiative. So it doesn't matter whether you're a policymaker, you work in business, you work in, in the faith-based um, uh, organizations, uh, or in the nonprofit community, or in traditional public health sectors. All of us have a role to play in advancing the health of the nation, and therefore we all ought to be leveraging healthy people for that purpose.